the making of a hey put down that plant drug enforcement agent so we're gonna go right back to the very beginning nine months before his birth his mother and father man and woman fall in love have an, a session of heavy foreplay clothes coming off undressing penis enters vagina after the orgasm we have ejaculation and the sperm are off to the races they're all racing through the fallopian tube to reach the egg one lucky sperm makes its way through and so once that one sperm that one lucky sperm has made it through the cells begin to divide Two cells become four cells, becomes eight cells, and so on. And so here is the uh, the future DEA agent, still in its mother wound, still no idea what is to come over the next coming decades. Still hard to believe it's actually a human being inside another human being and his nails and fingerprints are developing. Open and close his fists and curl his toes. Thanks to his developing muscles and reflexes, he's now moving his limbs and kicking up a storm. We can even see on the ultrasound. So nine months after the uh, initial ejaculation, we see here a, a baby boy, and a couple days later, this boy is going to have his uh, penis partially amputated. It's fairly customary here in uh, America. Dehumanizing the little boy right from the get-go. But of course it's for his benefit. Here we are watching him lower his uh, chance of getting uh, penile cancer, one in about 100,000. So once we have that dehumanized activity out of the way, it's off to a uh, childhood of indoctrination. Read this, memorize it, we're gonna test you. We'll go to church on Sunday, or maybe it's a synagogue, or what other various um, opportunity of memorizing variable concepts, which you'll think is God, but it's just a virus for your mind. Say, God, God. I'm here to be trained. I'm here, I'm here for an education. I'm willing, God. I'll do what you want me to do. I'll say what you want me to say. In Jesus' name. Which you'll think is God, but it's just a virus for your mind. And what will happen next? Maybe you'll get a lucky day to visit the DEA Museum. Learning how to become a junior special agent. We learn about the uh, history of illegal drugs in America, what to look for, what kind of behavior is a sign of a drug addict. And after all that fun and games, we get to go to the souvenir shop where we get to have uh, anything from a DEA mug to a teddy bear to a pencil, etc. And we get to go home with a junior special agent training manual. We get to learn stuff like what drug has been around for thousands of years, used by so many people that they even made a statue honoring it. We are proud in, in our uh, museum here that it has come to an end. In the uh, training manual, we will learn all sorts of um, ways on how to spy on our, our uh, neighbors using surveillance and how to write reports on suspicious behavior. We're going to have word searches looking for uh, illegal substances. We can learn how to make our own anti-drug poster. Then after we have uh, graduated to become a junior special agent, we'll have to take the oath. I do solemnly swear that I will lead a drug-free life. I will report to the police or an adult to anyone I know who is using or selling drugs. I will obey and respect my parents and teachers. I will be a law-abiding citizen. I will treat everyone that I meet with respect. So anyways, after years of... Uh, educational indoctrination, going to church every week. I am now ready to join DEA. What does this entail? 
drug urinalysis, medical exam, polygraph. The starting rate is almost $50,000. Okay, after four years, you'll be able to make over $90,000. So it's a decent pay at gardening, as you can see. If you hate plants, this is definitely the career for you. And, uh, this is how it is, right? Wear your masks, deceit your neighbors, hate plants. If you hate plants, this is definitely the career for you. And so when you're not busy exterminating weeds for people's gardens, you'll be in the urinal at your uh, office workplace, no longer thinking about the fact that when you were b brought into this world, your penis was uh, partially amputated. That's not what's on your mind. What's on your mind is your next drug raid. And so this is what's basically happening every minute of every hour. No thought about what happened when you were born. Let's focus on uh, getting plants out of gardens. Anti-nature. And uh, good luck with that.